electric vehicles are no longer limited by motors and they are no longer limited by software. The real battleground has shifted and it is now about how fast energy can move. For years, most electric vehicles relied on a 400 volt electrical system. It worked. It powered the first wave of EVs and it helped make electric cars mainstream. But it was never built for what electric vehicles are becoming. Vehicles are getting larger, batteries are getting bigger and charging expectations are getting higher. This is where the old system starts to struggle. Hyundai's newest electric vehicle signals a turning point. It is the company's largest EV ever built and it runs on an advanced 800 volt battery architecture. This is not a minor upgrade. It is a redesign of how electricity flows through an electric vehicle. Voltage works like pressure. Higher voltage pushes the same amount of power with less current. Less current means less heat and heat changes everything. In a 400 volt system, high power requires high current. High current creates heat. Heat limits charging speed. Heat stresses components and heat reduces efficiency. That is why many large EVs still take a long time to charge an 800 volt system breaks that limitation. By doubling the voltage, Hyundai dramatically reduces the current and that single change unlocks multiple advantages at once. Charging becomes faster, energy loss drops, cables become thinner and lighter, and thermal stress is reduced. For large electric vehicles, this matters more than range alone. Hyundai's new EV is expected to use a battery close to 100 kilowatt hours. That is a massive energy reserve, but a big battery means nothing if it takes an hour to recharge. With an 800 volt system, that problem disappears. On high power DC fast chargers, charging from 10% to 80% can happen in roughly 15 to 20 minutes under ideal conditions. That change reshapes how the vehicle fits into daily life. Fast charging is not a luxury for large electric vehicles, it is a requirement. The benefits extend even further. Lower current allows thinner copper cables throughout the vehicle. Copper is heavy and reducing cable thickness saves weight. That weight savings helps offset the mass of a large battery pack. Efficiency improves, handling improves and range benefits indirectly. Thermal management also becomes easier. Less heat means less cooling. Less cooling means higher reliability and performance stays consistent even during repeated fast charging. This is why 800 volt systems are appearing first in large vehicles such as SUVs, vans and people movers. These vehicles demand power, range and fast charging at the same time. Hyundai's decision is deliberate. Instead of simply adding more battery capacity, the company upgraded the electrical backbone of the vehicle itself. Not every EV needs this technology. Smaller cars still work perfectly well with 400 volt systems, but for large electric vehicles, high voltage is no longer optional. It is essential. This shift also prepares Hyundai for the next decade. Charging networks are getting faster, ultra high power chargers are expanding, and vehicles that can fully use that infrastructure will define the best EV experience. The move from 400 volts to 800 volts is not about one model. It is about a new standard that is quietly taking over. Hyundai's largest EV is not just bigger, it is built on a higher voltage foundation designed for the future of electric mobility. Bigger vehicles demand smarter energy flow, faster charging demands higher voltage and the industry is moving in that direction. If you want to stay updated on the breakthroughs shaping the future of electric vehicles, energy and technology, Stay with Dezen, like this video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments. Your support helps us explore the innovations that are redefining transportation.